The ceremony marks an historic occasion, the first flight demonstration of JLAMS. The joint land attack cruise missile defense elevated netted sensor system, or JLENS, is a product of the Army's oh, Cruise Missile, missile Defense ground. Project yeah. Office. We can track surface movement targets, we can track large caliber rockets, theater ballistic missiles. The Aerostat and its accompanying system represent half of a $1.4 billion program and is considered a critical component in the battle against enemy cruise missile attacks. This means that we're going to be able to take care of cruise missiles now. We can track the enemy, we can engage the enemy from this. It gives that type of high quality data. Sergeant Earl Lundy calls JLENS a blessing. The Afghanistan wounded warrior is ceremony guest of honor, on hand to give the traditional christening. He says JLENS is an angel in disguise. My son, his name was JLEN as well. My, my other son, he was a twin. You know, yeah, so when I was serving in the military, he, uh, he passed away at seven weeks. Ever since, Jalen Sincere Lundy has been his father's guardian angel. To be a part of this, the Jalen Project, first flight, first end, to know that I know he's still watching and protecting over me, and, you know, and now I'm something that's affiliated with the Jalen Project, it's watching and, um, over the soldiers overseas. The Today's rises, inaugural test flight is 3,000 feet. When fielded, JLENS will soar to 10,000 feet, generating enhanced defense capability for all. Gil McCabe, Elizabeth City, North Carolina. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television, Atlanta.